everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to show you how to use a, this stress test tool um, to, in order to check how your website deals with the growing amount of traffic requests, um, possibly in a very short time. Okay, um, so in this case, I used uh, the Paceler's web server stress tool number eight. Uh, you can go to their website and just download it. Um, I'm not affiliated with them at all, um, but it's a nice Windows tool to use. Um, so basically, you can go down, you can download it, and then they, they open it up, okay? Um, so this is the, the Windows software itself. Um, what we're trying to do is just take a URL, take a page, or possibly a, a certain, um, many pages, and actually um, run a stress test. So mimic asking the server, the web server, for uh, many amounts of pages in a very short time and see, uh, see how the website or the web server deals with um, this load. So how fat does it slow down? Does the website crash? Uh, are there errors? Are there uh, certain requests that can't be done, et cetera, et cetera? Okay? Um, so I'm just going to show you a quick over overview, a few kind of interesting things. Um, so this is the software again. Uh, if I go to test type, I can mimic three different types of tests. Um, one is just a clicks, which says run test with constant load. So I would say, let's say um, we can simulate 30 users at a time for X amount of minutes. Okay, so just uh, the amount of clicks or the amount of page requests uh, for a specific time. Um, I can run the test for a certain amount of time. Okay, um, and the one before, sorry if I didn't explain this uh, correctly. Um, this is the amount of requests per pages. This is for a specific amount of time. And this is to uh, increase the amount of requests to the number you specify over time. So uh, simulating an increased amount of visitors. So in the beginning, it'll be one visitor per second, and then two and three, uh, and on and on to kind of grow and show uh, maybe a more realistic situation where uh, suddenly a lot of people are coming uh, quicker and quicker. Okay. Um, so I want to show you just one example. You can play with this. Um, I want to ramp it up. I want to start with a little bit and kind of grow over time. So I'm going to simulate a test for just one minute, and I'm going to simulate, let's say, up to 40 users uh, a, at the end of that minute. Okay, so in the beginning, there'll just be one user asking for one page, then they'll go two and three and kind of increase, and you'll see that, okay? Um, and then here you can specify the, the click delay itself, okay? so. It, between users, is there a delay, or sorry, for the same user, is there a delay on the, their next request? Okay, okay, perfect. And uh, the next tab itself is the, the specifying the URLs. So here, you would uh, do two things. Either just specify a list of URLs, so maybe just one, or you can add more and more here. Um, or uh, what you can do is you can actually make a custom URL script, right? So that's a little more advanced using Java. Um, actually setting uh, much more complicated requests, uh, possibly doing things like uh, mimicking user interactions that are not just login, uh, sorry, not just a, a page views, but logins, uh, add to carts, uh, filling out forms, mimicking a user in a programmatic way, which is very important. But here we're just going to do the simple URL sequence, okay? So here I'm just going to specify one of our, our basic their website, um, which is a, a very uh, weak server. So um, what we're going to do is kind of mimic some errors to show so show this. Okay, so I'm, I specify the URL here. In this case, we're only testing one URL. Okay, uh, browser settings you can specify your user agent um, if you want to enable cookies um, and. Uh, when you specify a URL to, to grab, to test with, um, basically you're asking the web server for the HTML of that page. But in this case, if settings are not enabled, you're not downloading the, the, script, the scripts or the, the images or things like that or Flash. But you can enable it, um, which is even a better test to know how the server deals with not just the HTML output, but many other things. And of course, if you have CDN, things like that, it may be a little bit less uh, important, but still kind of an interesting option. Okay, um, and that's it. And some options you have some more things, but it, that's basically it. This is a really really simple overview, um, and I want to run a test. So we did that for one minute, mimic forty users in a growing pace. Okay, so I click on start, and what it does is it shows the screen, and here are the logs of every one of the users up to forty. And so you see here, it's basically requesting 
the URLs and it's growing. So you, one user request and then one request again and then two and one and two and three. Um, and you can see here that these users haven't requested pages because what we did is we selected the ramp. So continue say, to increase the amount of users requesting this specific page. So you see that? It's requesting, it's receiving, on and on, and uh, just kind of a quick look at everything. So here there's the output of every five seconds at a time, and it'll show you the amounts of clicks, amount of pages requested, how many errors, uh, and the average time. So uh, sometimes what happens is your server can still handle more and more users, but um, it'll either slow down or not handle some of them. So even if your server can handle a high amount of users, but it slows down, that's a very bad user experience. OK, so it finished the one minute, and now it's going to open up an HTML page with all of the details. So here's uh, some of the, the reports, and then here's a detailed log file of all of the 40 users in our case. OK, so I'm just going to show you a few quick things. Test configuration, just a summary of what we set up. OK, this is the, the Windows machine I'm using, uh, the URL, et cetera, how often we test, all that. OK. URLs, again, just one URL, OK? And this is very interesting. This shows a graph of click times and errors. So zero seconds, five seconds, nine, et cetera, OK? I'm oh, sorry, a active users, OK? Um, these are the seconds right here at the bottom, OK? So basically, and this is the average request that, uh, by time. So you can see they started requesting um, user one, two, three, on and on and on. And then here, after user looks like, I don't know, 28 or so, uh, there started to be some errors. You see that the, the error started at zero and then started error. So my server from about active user 22, let's say 21 or so, um, basically there started to be, this web server could not handle that, right? So you can see more and more errors and then it really increases from there. So this is a good, stand, a good test for me to start uh, knowing that maybe at 20 some, 26, 25, or 27 a users per uh, second, I, I'm starting to have some errors with my uh, server. So it's a good number to know. Okay. Okay. So the, this is a, another one about click times, hits, uh, et cetera. So another graph showing you uh, based on the time, the active users, and the hits and the clicks. So the request of the pages. Okay. Um, let me see something else interesting. Okay, a test client health. A, let's go here. So uh, results per user itself. This this is all the users uh, up to forty in our specific case. The amount of clicks that each user. So user one got the the most clicks because it started from one and a, and then started adding the second and third and kind of ramped up over time. So uh, you can see how many errors user one had how many errors, uh, the average click time, uh, the response time of actually asking a page and receiving the HTML back, uh, the bytes downloaded. And uh, you can see that there's some errors here, right? Right here. And um, it's kind of a nice output to, to kind of show, OK? And the last thing which is interesting to see on it specified to the settings we set, the amount of clicks, the amount of pages requested, the amount of errors, which is huge, 20% errors, um, time spent, and the average click time, right? So for this thing. Um, so that's basically it. This is a really quick overview. Um, very nice. This program can do a lot of uh, more things, especially um, you know mimicking logins, registers, filling out forms. Um, doing a, a, a possibly a set of actions. So visit page one, fill out the form, you go to page two, uh, you know, click on this, add to cart, move on, uh, step by step by step. Really good way to mimic and, and look at uh, response time and errors and things like that. Um, that's it. So hope, it, hope this makes sense. Um, hope you like the video. Thanks.